find each individual component. Now let's try to draw the diagram. Okay. So now what is the heart? So what is the heart of our diagram? Which is nothing but an electronic control unit. So this is called electronic control unit. What is electronic control unit consists of? This electronic control is nothing but an grid connected inverter. Okay. What is the rating of this inverter? What is the rating of this inverter? 600 VA. And what is the system voltage? 12 volt system. And it consists of an solar panel input. So this is nothing but a solar panel. How many solar panels are there? How many solar panels? 8 solar panel. And you see here, I am selecting a solar panel of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And what is the system required? What is the system watt required? 800 watt peak. And what is the system voltage required? 12 volts. Each solar panel rating is of 12 volts. And rating of each solar panel is how much? 100 watt. Now how do you have to connect them? All positives to one positive. So here you have positive. So here you are going to have positive, positives, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So let's give the labeling also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how to connect them in parallel? Join all the negatives. Join this negative, join this negative, join this negative, and join this negative, and this negative and negative. And next, join all the positives. Now we design our solar panel rating is how much? 800 watts PA and output of this from this positive you connect to positive of your uh, electronic control unit and from this negative you connect to the negative. So this is nothing but input. You see here the output of solar PV is the input to the inverter. To this inverter what you are going to have? It will convert. It will convert DC to AC. In AC, you are going to have phase and neutral. Okay. To this neutral, what you are going to have? We are going to connect an AC load. We are going to connect an AC load. And what is the type of AC load given in the problem? How many fans he has? How many fans? Three fans. This is fan one. This is fan two. This is uh, fan three. So you have three fans, okay? How many tube blades? Three tube blades. So this is tube blade one, tube blade two, three tube blade and one refrigerator. So this is one refrigerator. This is what the customer load is. For this customer load, we designed this. And what is the rating of this inverter? 600 VA, 12 watts, okay? And you require an, to this, to give the backup, what you require? Battery. Battery also will have what? Positive and negative. So what is the battery capacity we require? What is the system AH? 600 AH. But in the market, you can have 100 AH batteries or 150 AH battery. Now we already assumed 150 AH battery. How many 150 AH batteries? Four. So battery one, battery one, or you can directly draw like this only. Battery one, battery two, battery three, and battery 4. What is the each rating of the battery? 150 AH and 12 volt system. You see here, completely our design is with system. Completely our design is with system. 12 volt system. <coughs> Join all the positives. And join all the negatives. So now the resultant is how much? 100 volt system and 12 volts. So this is how to design an electronic control circuit with solar panels and batteries and then. So in this only what you have? Charge controller. What is the charge controller rating? What is the charge controller rating you require? 
so it requires a voltage of 12 volts and a current of 50 amperes so if you buy an off grid inverter all the specifications you have to specify to the manufacturer then only he will manufacture and give it is it clear this is what the design of an solar pv plant is it able to understand now how the energy flows energy flows in this direction so energy flows from like this the direction what i am showing but how the design flows reverse the design flows in this direction okay that's what the meaning of energy flow and design flow so this is how to understand or to design a solar pv plant to an given customer load okay hope the things are very clear to understand